Coming up on 746, welcome back to your Monday morning here on VT. Lasha Kretzel from News 1130 back with us on the couch. Great to see you. You as well. And of course, Mental Health, uh, Daryl Burnham, uh, just here in the nick of time, but uh, for an important cause, because before we talk about Coast Mental Health, mm. we're going to talk about this hair, Lasha. <laughs> and it's it's going to be gone by the end of October. It, yep, it's it's all coming off. It's it's time. <laughs> After eight years of growing this beautiful mane, why is now the time to, to um, let it go? I think it's just, I mean, for one, after eight years, you, with all this length, the, the amount of time that you put into this, it's it's astounding. And I think it's kind of time for maybe somebody else to enjoy this. So I think it's just probably a time in my life where I'm like, I'm, I'm ready to let go of a lot of, of this. Well, there's a close personal story attached to uh, this message too. Wigs for Kids is uh, one of the beneficiaries, also mm -hmm. Coast Mental Health, but tell us about your story mm -hmm. of how this is gonna have uh, a sentimental meaning. So for me, I, I started growing this because when I was a kid, I always saw all these photos of my mother. Uh, before I was born, she had longer, or about as long as hair as I have right now, but it was bright blonde, this bright blonde hair, my mom Mary, and um, that's all the photos that I remember, seeing this long flowing hair, her wedding photos, this, this hair coming down. Uh, she used to do everybody's hair because she knew how, she had the most of it. And uh, I always wonder, can I grow my hair that long? Some people can't grow theirs as long or as short, and, and so I wanted to see. And it just sort of became a bit of an experiment. And uh, she, she passed away about five years ago almost now. And, and part of that was because of uh, her battles with alcohol addiction. And I, I started, I, I kept growing it. Part of it because I kind of wanted, I wanted to keep that that idea alive. I wanted to keep seeing how long my hair would go, and it was a way to remember her in a way. So for me, I, I just, oh, it was it was a good way to to keep her memory alive. Well, proceeds from this are going to support Coast Mental Health, and Daryl, that's why we have you here. And the first thing I saw looking at, at this website and, and the support, three pillars of sustained recovery. When funds are raised, how do you support those that are suffering? Well, we do, the three pillars are housing, uh, a range of supports, and employment and training to help people get back on their feet. So you start with housing, people need a place to live. Uh, unfortunately, in Vancouver, many people don't. And so until you get a pl place to live and stable, you can't work on your problems. You're just scrambling. So you start with housing, and then your array of supports to help people find a recovery from addiction or from their mental illness, to find ways that they can develop strengths, and then education and training so people can move forward in their lives. And they get the, I think accommodation is very powerful and it's very helpful for people in, in the lower mainland. How long on average do you see as the cycle for reinvention for those that come in admit and have that awareness that I need some support and then have that opportunity to bounce back? Well, the sooner you, it's like any process, the sooner you, you would, uh, start solving it, the faster. And so if we are uh, working with someone who's been on the streets for 10 years, or complex mental health and addiction issues, it will be a long path back. It is a path back, but it may take years. If you're talking about someone, uh, like we work with young people who may have had an uh, interruption because of a mental health issue or an addiction issue, and it's, it's uh, months or years, uh, short, a short period of time, then that recovery can be much faster. The sooner you, tr the, you attach, attack the problem properly with support, people can move forward fast. Well, this is one of the important causes. Also, we mentioned uh, wigs for kids and uh, even company where those wigs were stolen off of West Broadway. Uh, this hair is going to go support them. I learned that just recently. I went into the shop and asked. I heard about what happened here. This is what I'm doing. And they said, oh, that we take the hair from, from Wigs for Kids BC and it, uh, go right to their shop and they'll be able to, to do what they need with it. So you can get like 20 wigs out of this <laughs> main here? Or what's the deal here? I, I wish. I wish. I, I, I knew this from donating before, but it actually take several heads of hair to, to make one wig because you have uh, whether that's you know your hair is different lengths because it falls out or breaks or anything like that and so it takes a lot of people to come together to create one special thing even f uh, for a child so I think that you know if there's other people that want to donate please please do that how can they donate by the way Oh, uh, for, for the fundraising here, you can go to Coast Mental Health um, with uh, slash my underscore hair raising uh, ex underscore experience. And that's the big donation page there for us. And of course, anybody can always donate uh, their own hair to uh, Wigs for Kids BC. They just need to cut off the, uh, the minimum that, that 8 to 10 inches yeah. and just make sure that it's nice fresh hair, no dyes, no, no perming, anything like that. And they can go right ahead and donate their own hair. Well, we'll put that info on 
our Facebook page as well. Hashtag hair raising uh, experience. Uh, we're going to do this here through BT. Congrats to you both for some excellent work. And I heard Daryl's going to shave his head too, just for fun. Uh, right? Just the uh, uh, in, in honor of, of your. Uh, it's all work. About solidarity. The solidarity. Yeah, I don't know if it meets the 10 inch rule, but uh, maybe. <laughs> Love the heart behind it. Listen, we'll take a break.